and I think it'll be like, 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 before I introduce my favorite depressed band, I have a rose. If you catch it, you're sexy. We talked about something special for the Fonda. It's like a big thank you for LA because this is where we grew up and this is where this whole thing came about. Yes, sexy, yes. Yo, yo, I need to get you guys on right now. Anyway, here we go. Anyway, my favorite band, the best band ever. Here they come, here they come. Let's use our resources to give the best show we feel like we can give right now. For the people supporting us since day one, it's something that they remember. What's up, Billy? Y'all ready to get this shit started?
shows we had our u-haul around the corner from the venue and it was time to pack up and i went to go get the van and it was just the van there's no u-haul trailer attached anymore there were just two chains you know snip with bolt cutters or something our drum kit was gone guitar amp was gone and cases so that plays a role in the sound with the new ep we started using a bunch of like programmed drum sounds for the songs The vibe was just to go for something more pop centric. It just We're felt more like a party. Team, you know? Yeah. Like even the, the drum setup is a bit more hybrid. So the, the setup is growing. And I feel like the sound is growing with that. So we put out an EP about two weeks ago. It's called WYA. I don't know if you guys got a chance to hear it or not. Yeah? Sounds like a yes. We're gonna play some songs from that 18 now. Supposed to be a casual word. 
you take a flying jump at the moon. It's looking a little empty on stage, isn't it? Thought we should bring our friends out. What do you guys think? Let's put them out. Round of applause for these friends, everybody. Tonight's going to be a very special show.
For the most part, when I write lyrics, it's usually whatever I'm kind of going through, whatever I'm kind of thinking. But this time around, I just felt like we were in such a different place. It felt stale to go back to writing from the same exact place I usually do. For the new EP, I'm writing from a character's point of view, so it just kind of goes into something that's like more of a narrative, I guess. <laughs> this is the first time I felt I've been able to notice a shift where getting recognized a little more, things of that nature that you associate with fame. It was just such a strange thing. So I just kind of blew it up and made this whole imaginary thing where I'm writing from a standpoint of like this successful band who like made it, but now it's like, what, what next?
quartet play with us gave me this extra boost of confidence in a way.
show really special for me was that all of our parents were there and our families which was like a really big deal to all of us because they've been there since the beginning they've been our biggest supporters you know so to really like put ourselves up on the next level to be able to show that appreciation to them you know to be able to dress up and show them that all of your support is paying off you know and to show them a good time get in box seats on the balcony to see all of this very special there wasn't a dry eye in the house.
our last song, you know. I know. Just want to say thank you so much for being here again. Really. I'll say thanks to the string quartet for being here today. Thanks to Gene Dawson. Very special thanks to Idris. Another very special thanks to Joe Vaughn. Wherever you are. And honestly, the whole team, we couldn't have done this without you guys. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Thank you.